Hello everyone, time to grind here and today I wanted to play some more Brotato because Brotato got a huge, 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 huge update. The biggest I think that's happened in a while. Uh, there are four new characters for us to try to unlock. Uh, there's like three new weapons, 12 new items, and an endless mode and, and, and official mod support as well via the Steam Workshop. So we're not going to mess around with mods right now. You know, I've, I've still really been enjoying, uh, you know, vanilla. Uh, and so what I wanted to do was try to unlock one of these new characters, try them out today, and also try out the endless mode as well. So in order to unlock some of these new characters, we have reach 10 range damage and get three structures at the same time, pick up 20 consumables during a run, kill a boss or an elite in less than 15 seconds, and reach 100 max HP. So I'm going to try to unlock the consumables and the max HP one right now. I think those are going to be the pretty easiest. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and play Chunky because that seems to be a good way to get to 100 max HP. Uh, you know, max HP modifications increased by 25% and more damage for every max HP we have and HP recovered from consumables, which we want to be taking up consumables, right? Uh, we don't have any lifesteal. We can't have much HP regeneration. Uh, though we still should have some. Uh, dodge is reduced and speed is very, very much reduced. But we haven't beat him. And also, oh, we can already see one of the new weapons. Pruner. Wait, spawn a garden that creates a fruit every 15 seconds? Well, that's definitely how we're going to unlock a new character. So we're going to try to... Oh! Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so you have to toggle... You have to toggle... Um... Okay, endless mode, but I like that you can still beat the game and then, like, go into it. Oh my gosh, look at this! This is gonna make it so easy now to already unlock uh, one of the new characters here. That's an interesting weapon. Because obviously you're, you're gonna hit people. So I think that's what we're gonna try to do. We're gonna try to do a max HP consumable type thing here. And um, I prefer endless mode that you can toggle it after you beat the game. I agree. Very much agree with that. Um, so I think it said dodge doesn't do anything here for us. Okay, so max HP. Anything that gives us max HP. Yeah, dodge is reduced a little bit here. Um, and, uh, HP regeneration is reduced as well. Probably still want it, but, um, oh, j jousting lance. This gives us more speed and it does less damage when standing still. Well, our speed was reduced by a bunch, but... Oh, this is actually... Jousting Lance is actually based on your speed. Oh, that's interesting. Well, it doesn't really make sense for what we're trying to do right now. We'll go ahead and do Pruner. I don't think this is the way to win the game. <laughs> also, more max HP, but we're going to start at 1 HP. Um, I don't think this is... I don't know. I don't know. This is a very unique strat. We're already trying out some of these new weapons. Well, we're very much so going to be able to unlock the new character. So even if we lose this, as long as we unlock one character, right, we'll have uh, we'll have done our duty, you know? Which we should unlock very quickly, I would imagine, here. Because um, also, those come to you at the end of every wave now. I saw that was a change. If you have Cyborg Getter, is that new? I'm, I don't remember. I'm not sure, actually. Um, also, we could try to get range damage up, but we're not doing... Oh, six max HP. And I think it said we have more damage, the more max HP. So maybe this could actually work. Pruner again. Um, lock that pruner. And I'll go ahead and lock this scar because we don't want range here. We want less range. So... I don't know, maybe the fact of building up our max HP, that would be pretty sick if this video, we could already get Beat Danger 5 with this character, unlock a new character, right? Um, you know, check out Endless Mode, get a bunch of stuff done at once. And it seems like the audio may be a little bit too loud, so I will, uh, I'll turn it down here in a second. These pruners are too loud. Okay, turn it down a little bit. Let me know if it's not good. Um, so we're just looking for... Okay, uh, max HP. I'll go ahead and take harvesting. So we'll take pruner. We'll take scar. And... Uh, yeah, we'll lock cake there. As much max HP as we can possibly get. I honestly think we're already going to get... Uh, we, oh, oh, I forgot every time I, oh god, I forgot every time I adjust, oh, there we go, we already hungry, picked up the consumables, so we've already gotten enough consumables uh, to unlock a new character here, 
So now the goal is to just try to get to 100 HP. And then we'll have already unlocked two of the four new characters in the uh, in the update here. But uh, pretty freaking hype though. I mean, yeah, this seems to work out with this build anyways, since like HP regeneration is less and stuff like that, you know. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and take speed there, even though it's lowered. Um, I'll take four HP regeneration. That only ends up giving us two, but that's a little bit decent amount here. Um. Okay, uh, max HP, less damage. Melee damage, max HP, less range. That is exactly what we wanted. And then, uh, don't think we need to, um... I don't think we need to worry too much. Yeah, we're doing a lot of damage, even with these pruners here. So I don't know if this is gonna scale very well. But if we don't have any other healing... As long as we keep bumping up our damage with the max HP, this could maybe work. At the very least, I imagine we could maybe survive here. Oh, gosh. Taking a lot of damage, though, because we don't have any... Uh, oh, gosh. We don't have any armor. So anytime I take damage, I just got to go visit all my farms around the map. That is very interesting. So we've already seen two of the three new weapons. Obviously, Jousting Lance was one of them. Uh, didn't make sense on this character, but... Um... Max HP. I wonder if engineering has anything to do with those. I don't think so. Pruner. Oh, this gives us more uh, harvesting, too. I will take broken mouth. Um, uh, pruner. More damage, less range. That... Mm, no, alien worm doesn't make sense because we're doing consumables here, so... So we're 65 HP out of uh, of 100 to already have unlocked two new characters here. That would be absolutely sick if we could uh, if we could unlock everything, you know, or not everything, but just it seems like we're gonna already have unlocked a lot of stuff uh, to begin with, which is pretty fire. Oh, jeez. I do feel like our, our damage is okay here. It's not, like, exactly where I want it, but I suppose that's okay. Cyborg's unlock is 10 range damage 3. Oh, okay, yeah, we haven't unlocked that. That's one of the new ones. That is uh, it's one of the new ones. We'll do harvesting. Uh, we'll do um, max HP. We're already at 73. Combine. Pruner. We'll take cake. Oh, is that? Oh, this is one of the new items. Uh, repost, reposte. Don't know how to pronounce that. Whatever. Uh, two melee damage, fifty percent chance to deal eleven damage to an enemy when dodging their attack. Oh. Oh. Um, I'll go ahead and take it just for the melee damage. Actually, no. Never mind. Little muscly dude. What am I talking about? That's way better there. Um. Oh my gosh, though. There's a lot of good stuff here. I'm gonna lock. Actually, no. We're not dodging here. I think there's better, cheaper ways to get the melee damage, but that's a cool new item, though. That's a cool new item. But yeah, Cyborg will definitely be one of the characters that we try to unlock uh, at some point soon. Yeah, I think last week we didn't end up um, being able to, to check out Brotato. There was just a bunch of other stuff we wanted to check out. So we took like a kind of week break from Brotato. Perfect timing, I'll tell you, because now that this new update comes out... So much for more fun stuff for us to do. It's like I do genuinely want to try to 100% the game, you know. Before I fully mess around with all the crazy mod packs. And I know that may cause, um, you know, my popularity to dip on the, the series a little bit. But I genuinely think this game is so much fun. It's so fun to try to, you know, beat Danger 5 with everyone. Oh my, okay. So we already at 96 max HP. We're going to take um, Defective Steroids. Broken mouth. There we go. We already unlocked the new character. Robust. Um, mm, gentle alien. Oh, bait. That's a new item. 8% damage. Special enemies appear at the beginning of the next wave. Wait, what? Though I can't afford it. 8% damage. Special enemies appear at the beginning of the next wave. Yeah, and padding is obviously pretty good. Max HP for all the... Oh. 
Hmm. The problem is, is that requires us to hold our materials, but I suppose that could be okay. But yeah, we'll, we'll see what both of those are. We'll see what both of those are. In birth data. Because, yeah, that would allow us to just, like, instantly kill people here. Working on a mod in this game? That's sick. So we're still only on wave eight. Even if we die, though, I ain't even going to be mad. I'm going to obviously try to win with this character because our end goal before we mess with modded is to, oh, geez, is to, um, you know, beat Danger 5 with everyone. So we haven't beaten Danger 5 with this character. So very important task ahead of us here. We could get a lot accomplished in this video for sure. So after this run, we'll uh, we'll probably do a run with one of the new characters. Try to make it to endless mode with them. Oh jeez, I'm st I'm having a hard time killing people still. My damage isn't as high as I would think I need it to be. Um, mm, okay, we'll take the luck. We'll take the melee damage. Okay, so bait, and we'll go ahead and take padding. And I'm just going to. Um, if I don't, I'm not going to re-roll. I'm going to stop re-rolling. Oh, jeez. Whoa, are those the new enemies? Or are those just new enemies in general? Because we did bait. I don't know what the entire point of bait is. It's just a new item. It may cause us to lose or that may just be a new part of the game. I don't really know. I think we're recovering here. I just, I don't know. We were taking a lot of damage there. Got 116 max HP, but not being able to do, um, not being able to, to have armor or dodge chance does hurt a little bit. Also, there's an item guy over here. Come here. Come here. No, 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 no. Dude, it's like we don't have the damage that I feel like we need. All these farms, though, pretty nice. Oh, dude, we got the item right at the end there. Oh, you can modify enemy stats. Oh, does that disable achievements or no? Also, sorry if the lighting's a little bit weird. I'm still in my kind of temporary setup. Um, okay, well, those won't really matter. So recycle that. I um, think we just want... Okay, I'll take more harvesting, though. 12% uh, damage. Um... So, okay. Yeah, I'll re-roll like one time. Otherwise, I'm going to try to stockpile my money. Because that'll give us more HP and damage. Yeah, we're taking an absurd amount of damage because we don't have any armor. <laughs> oh, gosh. And, like, we just took 12 damage from getting hit by a single guy there. So we may have a lot of HP, but we effectively don't because of the armor. I think we're about to get a horde wave, too. Got an item there. Ran in the middle to get some, uh, materials. Huh. Okay. Um, don't think we need that. Um. Max HP. Uh, buff up our melee damage. And I'm not gonna buy anything. See, I'm trying to use padding. But. We, we've done, I think, one modded Brotato video. Uh, the, the one with Sunday. The, uh, the Infinity Stone one. Um, that we got a OT Dan to make. Otherwise, though, I'm still really enjoying Vanilla, you know? Like, especially with the new characters and stuff like that, I just still don't really see a point. I mean, I know, like, the videos would do well. I know, I know there's a lot of people that really enjoy it, but to me, that would almost, like, ruin Brotato right now for me because I just am having a ton of fun trying to beat every character with Danger 5, you know? Like, I always say, if a game is officially adding new content... It makes me a lot less, like, needing modded, right? 
Now, when the game officially comes out and the the updates slow to a crawl and we eventually catch up to the game, or we 100% it, then it makes sense to try to do that. Also, whoa, we're taking a lot of damage here. Item guy, item guy, item guy, item guy, item guy. Didn't get it. I didn't get it. Uh, hitting enemy removes their speed, sure. Uh, more damage. <gasps> Yo! Yo! We got our item! We got our item! The best item that you could possibly have for this character. We got. And it's my item. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So now we just have to survive here. I think this is a horde. But that is the perfect item. Um, that is the perfect item. Honestly, maybe we don't even check out the new characters yet. Honestly, if this run, this run, the fact that we got Grind's Magical Leaf, if we, I don't know, I may just die here. And then we do check the new characters. But I may just, like, see how far we can go on Endless Mode, you know? With this character. Oh, gosh. But I, I think I'm, I'm, I have a feeling I'm gonna die here, though. This horde... But the problem with the pruners is they ain't that great of a- Nah, yeah, we're dead. We're dead. Grind's lucky leaf. Probably not gonna be able to save us here. I'm trying- Nope, there it is. Ho <laughs> ho! Dang! Dang! Well, that's fine. Like I said, I didn't know how good the pruners were gonna be long term. But we accomplished what we set out to do, which was get the glutton character. And the Lich character. So what is Glutton? Plus 50 luck, one explosion damage when picking up a consumable while at max health. Wait, is that permanent? Is that permanent? Probably. Consumables have a 100% chance to explode for melee damage when picked up. What? But, and then you have less uh, uh, items are more expensive in XP. And then Lich is, H you have HP regeneration, you have lifesteal, 100% chance to deal damage to a random enemy when you heal. Da Yo, that's sick. That's sick. Well, I want to say Lich for a separate video probably. Let's try Glutton here. Let's try Glutton. So, we have Glutton here also. My, um, my, phone, is, uh, my phone is blowing up here for some reason. Okay. So, yeah, let's mess around with Glutton here. And then, uh, technically... Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so Glutton. So, I think we still try Pruner, though. More explosion damage when picking up a consumable. And consumables have a 100% chance to explode. Huh, yeah, I think, I think we try the Pruner here. I mean, because... Yeah... That's interesting. Okay, so we're on endless mode here, going to Crucible 5, or Danger 5. We ain't playing Peglin here. So the pruner may actually make sense here. Like, what if we, well... Yeah, that's cool. Because now, we can actually still get the HP regeneration, right? Oh, we got an item! Let's go! And that just... Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice! Okay. Uh, crit ball. That's good, because we already have luck here. Um, I'll go ahead and take, um, dodge chance. We'll get another pruner. We'll get a weird ghost. And, uh, lock the pruner. Um, and honestly, I'm gonna lock broken mouth. Because I think that, uh... That will, that will work out here. I know we, uh, oh man, if any of you guys watch my Peglin content, oh boy, I'm still, I'm still scarred from the weekend where we spent literally like 11 hours trying to beat Crucible 12. Um, okay, we'll take the harvesting, we'll get, uh, another pruner, and we'll keep broken mouth. So this is interesting, this is interesting, because we keep buffing up our explosion damage. Boom, boom, and then they, they count as explosions, which is so interesting. So, boom, 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 boom. This character is really interesting. Boom, this character is so cool. This character's pretty cool. 
Okay. Um. Mm, I just get more dodge chance here. We'll take broken mouth. And I still don't really understand bait. We'll do uh, lemonade. We uh, restore more. And um, I'm going to go ahead and lock goat skull for more uh, damage. Seems to be a, uh, a good idea here. Can't see the items? What do you mean by that? Oh, jeez. Boom! Oh, oh, that's pretty sick. This is pretty sick. Especially if we can get the items that keep increasing uh, attack damage and stuff like that, you know? So I may actually take some other just explosion weapon. I'm not going to do all pruners, but we want some pruners, though, for sure. Melee damage. We'll do goat skull. We'll do lumberjack. Um, I'll take mushroom as well. We do probably want some regeneration. Revolver? There's a new gun. Uh, cooldown is 3.2 seconds every six shots. That's interesting. That's interesting. Was how you picked up short fuse. If you didn't do that, you probably would have won sooner. Favorite part was how you picked up short fuse. What do you mean? I don't think I have short fuse here. Are you talking about like a different one? Or did I miss up something? Oh, oh, you're talking about Peglin. You're talking about Peglin. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, there were a couple times we would have won. That was a cursed 11 hours. That was a cursed 11 hours. That video is going to be the longest video on my channel. But I like that fruit comes to you now at the end of the wave, especially with some of these new mechanics. Boop, boop, see? Um, okay, we're going to go ahead and get um, some armor here. Six melee damage. Yes, please. Um, okay, we, we'll, we'll do... I uh, Now, landmines are based on engineering, and I don't think I want to do engineering necessarily. Take a gambling token. Give us some defense. Another pruner we're going to lock. And we'll, we'll lock a cyber ball as well, honestly, because we have a lot of luck to begin with with this uh, with this character. What's in the new Brotato update? Four new characters, three new weapons, like 12 new items, mod support, and endless mode. This update was really, really, really big. Uh, and modding support in the form of Steam Workshop, which is like the best way you can have modding support, in my opinion. So people aren't having to go to a unofficial discords to download things or random websites, right? It's just on the Steam Workshop. Oh, dude, this character is so fun. This character is so interesting, especially with this new, this new weapon here, the pruner. Oh, yes. Explosion damage up. Oh, armor max HP, but we're slower. Definitely going to take that. Uh, more melee damage. We'll take another pruner, a cyber ball, um, another pruner, um, and ooh, lock that pruner. Okay, cool. This is this is working out here. What are those little town things? Those are from the new pruner weapon. Um, it spawns them, and they um, they're almost like the banana trees in uh, Peglin, or not in Peglin, Balloon Star Defense. They're just going to keep spawning um, consumables for us here to be able to heal, which is nice. There's another consistent. They definitely, there's the, a big mechanic here seems to be around these things here in the new update. Between some of the new characters, some of the changes they made, stuff like that. I've not been able to get rid of these eggs here. But like, especially like the pruner with this character. Because we're playing as a character that every time we pick up a consumable, if we have full HP, we, uh... It does an explosion. Or no, no. It, they always do an explosion. But if we have full HP and we get it, it buffs up our explosion damage permanently. Like, look at that. That was insane. That was insane. Oh, uh, yeah. We are going to probably do some Peglin on Friday. Just need a little bit of break after our 11-hour Peglin video. Um, I really don't think we care about crit chance. Um, I'm going to go do max HP. 
Peacock, that's a new uh, item. 25% XP gain, 100% XP gain during next wave, but 50% enemy damage during the next wave. Yeah, we're only on, yeah, that's fine. We're only on uh, wave eight. So we'll take that, we'll take a pruner. We'll get more luck as well because we have two cyber balls. Okay, as long as we don't die here, we should be good. We should be good. They're going to do a crap ton of damage to us, but we have a billion consumables here, so if we needed to. I will bomb you with fruit, dang it. <laughs> Watch this. Boom! That's so satisfying. And the reason I'm going pretty hard on the HP regeneration and armor is so that we're staying at full HP, even though we have all these consumables. We want to stay at full HP. That way, when I take these, we keep buffing up our um, our explosion damage, right? I definitely want, like, a rocket launcher or something. I want a weapon that's going to continuously fire explosions. I, uh... We just got to find it. Because also, we've been buffing up melee... Oh, we've been buffing up melee damage, too. So, max HP, damage, more enemies, sure. Uh, we'll take, uh, honestly, more luck. We'll take uh, more dodge chance and more melee damage there. That's really good. That is really, really, really good. Um, oh, now the, the, the repost or repost, I don't know how you pronounce that, um, buffs up the melee damage. And now we actually have dodge chance. So this is actually good now, that new item. So we're going to have a chance, a 50% chance to deal damage to enemies. Uh, when dodging their attack, which is pretty cool here. Um, more XP gain, more melee damage. We'll take that even though it nerfs our luck a little bit. Because we're just going to have a lot of XP here. I mean, now we just have like that peacock item is pretty cool. Just have a, you know, a passive 25% um, increase in... Um, an experience plus all the other stuff we took so pretty cool probably could use a little bit more max HP but this this build this character with these pruners is so fun holy cow uh, peacock gave us 25% uh, extra XP gain 100% extra XP gain for the immediate uh, wave following you buying it but then it buffs up the enemy damage by 50% on the next wave. So it makes the next wave harder. You get more XP from it. And then if you survive, you permanently have 25% more experience. Always. Okay, can we get this item? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. <laughs> Almost died out of nowhere. More trees spawn. More dodge chance. Um... I'm going to take the lifesteal. Um, more dodge chance. We're already at 40% dodge chance. Uh, that's a good pruner. Yeah, our items aren't very great right now. More luck, less elemental. Okay. Okay, I'm getting a little bit scared here, but I think that was good. I was very scared we were going to die there. Because we got to at least, if we if we lose this... Somehow, we'll go on, like, a lower danger level and try just to try on this mode. But, like, we're trying to beat Danger 5 with every character, right? So, I really don't want to, you know. I want to try to be able to beat Danger 5 here. I, just, I think I need to lure people around these explosions. And also, I do need an explosion weapon. I need that, um, the, the, the plank. You know that plank item? that um, is a melee weapon, but it explodes when it hits. That would be huge. Because we, we don't want the rocket launcher, actually, because we're focusing on melee damage here because of the pruners. But, like, we're getting our explosion damage so freaking high. Whew! Look at that. Look at our explosion damage, man. Okay, metal is really good. Um... We spent a lot of money here. More dodge chance. We're at 46% dodge chance. Yeah, our explosion damage is 87 here. Um, okay, more armor. 
Oh, harvesting keeps increasing. Okay, we'll do that since we already had a good amount of harvesting. Um, the problem is, is I'm not finding anything that's going to give us more explosions, you know? I am not. But these pruners are uh, scaling up our uh, harvesting as well because they're a support weapon. And that's what the passives of the support weapons do. Just gotta make sure I'm staying near my farms here. I didn't want Vigilante Ring. It would have been good, but I'm scaling up. I'm doing so many long-term things in the first place. I need to start taking things that are gonna immediately help me now. Though it would be good since, I mean, we're trying to do endless mode, but I just feel like we're gonna lose if I keep taking long-term stuff. And I feel like the explosion damage is going to scale more. I feel like I'm going to need to rely hopefully less on uh, raw damage, you know. Just look at that. We keep up updating that. Okay, bag will take um, three armor, uh, ten harvesting. Oh, bigger explosion size. That's huge. So we're about to fight a horde. I just need... I just, yeah, that's a, th oh, we found plank. We found plank here, finally. We found plank. Okay, so it has a 25% chance to explode on hit. Um, nullifies the damage of one hit taken every wave. We have so much armor, I don't even think I need that. Um, max HP for a little bit less of HP regeneration. That's fine. Oh, lock another plastic explosive. Yo. So the screwdriver is explosive, but it, um, it, it, uh, the, I, I don't know. I'm assuming that the, it, it scales with explosion damage as well, but it also mainly scales with, um, what's it called with engineering. And I'm not really wanting to focus too much on engineering right now. I'm wanting to focus on melee damage. So that's why I think planks and then the pruners are going to be the, um, the optimal play here. I mean, just look at the radius of these explosions now. I mean, these are insane here. This is insane. This character is insanely fun. And the, I, cause you guys know I love permanent scaling characters here. So just permanently scaling up the explosion damage every time we get a consumable is absolutely insane. Oh my gosh. Come on, kill this. Okay, nice. We got the item. Holy cow. <laughs> Uh, planks just have a percent chance to, to kill people or explode when I hit people. We will take landmines right now because they're free. Uh, don't want missile. I will take cyberball. Wow. More melee damage. More explosion size. Um, uh, I will take metal. Um... Oh, Sad Tomato is really good. I love Sad Tomato. There's a rocket launcher, but unfortunately, we're not focusing on range damage. So we're going to take Sad Tomato here. We start at half health, but we have really, we have a lot better regeneration now. And, you know, we should be able to, uh, to fill it up pretty early here. I didn't want to mess with Piggy Bank too much. I feel like we have enough late game scaling. I mean, obviously, we're doing endless mode, so I'll, I should want a lot. I just... We're on path for a good build, and I have definitely thrown before with Piggy Bank. And it is, it's, I mean, we're already on wave 13 here, so. Um, my main priority is beating Danger 5, right? And then obviously, mess around in endless mode, but. Danger 5 do be hard, so I want to make sure we can, like, handle Danger 5 to begin with, you know? And we have uh, the we have right now permanent scaling harvesting, so that'll be cool. Cause I can still buy things. Oh man, that explosion damage scaling. Uh, yeah, that's good. More harvesting, less enemies. Sure. Twelve harvesting, we will take nine max HP. Yo, we got a good plank. We got a good plank. Thirty-five percent chance to explode on a hit. I'll just take the landmines. I think landmines are fine. Uh, pruner here. 
Nice. Eight max HP, more HP regeneration. I do think we want alien magic, even though it nerfs luck. Yeah. I don't I don't want to mess around with Piggy. I know Piggy would be good. But I wanna buy things right now. And Piggy, Piggy makes you change the way your playstyle works. Which would be good, right? In endless, but I just I don't want to. I don't want to save my money. I want to spend my money. I want to spend my money. Dude, if we can get more explosion radius, that would be so good. This is a fun freaking character, though. That is for sure. We need to get more dodge chance, too. We need to max that crap out. And then we have a good amount of HP regeneration as well, so we're like permanently healing. Hopefully to full, so this is like still. Oh my gosh! More max HP, more damage, more enemies. Um, oh, there we go. Uh, oh, but harvesting for the scaling, but no. Let's get to max dodge. We're about to fight an elite right now here. We're about to fight an elite. Um, okay, pruner and a plank here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that pruner for a better plank. Uh, get some alien magic, and uh, there we go. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Now, can we kill the elite? Probably not, but... Or, oh, man. Oh, man, he's doing a lot of damage. A lot of damage. I think I'm going to not worry about fighting him. Even with the bombs, don't think... I think we'll be fine at surviving, but I'm not going to focus on. I mean, like, this is such a, most of our damage is coming from random, uh, you know, explosions. A little bit hard to target a, an elite with these, like, safely, you know. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. We need more planks. We need more attack speed, too, I think. Because I need these planks to hit more often. Oh my gosh, we actually got... Oh, we almost we almost got him on accident. We almost got him on accident. Um, okay, yeah, more uh, armor there. Um, I think it's a little bit late on harvesting. Even though we have the scaling. That'll continue to... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll buy it, actually. Um... We'll do a free reroll. That'll save us some money. We'll do bag. Oh, man. Hey, everybody. Hey, SLX. Thanks for the gifted sub. Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yo, there we go. We got our dodge chance to max at 63%. I mean, it obviously maxes out at a 60% here, so... Okay, we got we to gotta get those guys that are buffing everybody. These guys, they got to go. They got to go. No buffing. Makes me think of like when I was like, would watch Dora the Explorer as a kid, you know, and Swiper. And be like, Swiper, no swiping. Swiper, no swiping. That's, that's, that's me right now. But with these guys that are buffing people. Dude, th this explosion radius is insane. This character is... Our explosions are doing ungodly amounts of damage right now. And we're still scaling up our explosion damage. This is insane. 532 damage. And because we're killing everybody, I mean, we're able to get a crap ton of money here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Blood leech, we'll take. Oh, yep, repost, whatever we'll, we'll take. Um, more max HP over the armor. Ah. Uh, um, I know that would help with the mines, but I'm gonna actually take the armor there. We'll take. Uh, oh, explosion damage. Let's go. Uh, we'll take metal. Um, exoskeleton. Ooh. Yeah, we'll take exoskeleton for next time. That'll the armor, 
the speed and the engineering will help. We'll lose some of the HP regeneration and lifesteal. I think that's fine, though. Reroll one more time here. Okay, if I could have bought a tractor, I would have, but... Oh, gosh. I do no damage until the explosion stuff comes out. My weapon... I need to get my weapons a higher... Like, upgraded more, but... The explosion damage is carrying here for sure. I mean, that is insane. That is insane. This character is so cool. All of these new characters seem really, really interesting. Let's go. Let's go. A uh, bag for free. A uh, little muscly dude. Very good. Metal. Let's go. Focus. What? A legendary. 30% damage. But we have minus 3% attack speed for every different weapon you have. We only have two different weapons. I think that's worth it. Focus. I'll take the luck here because we have, um, you know, the three. How much damage has... Cyberball. Cyberball has give, done 39,000 damage. Um, okay. 40 harvesting. You take one. I don't think we want that because then we're never going to trigger the one thing. So we'll take Exoskeleton. Um, armor dodge chance. We don't... Nah. How much damage are we... We are taking 58% less damage. Um, okay. Another pruner. Um, alien eyes. We have a lot of uh, HP. I don't know if I needed that, but a pruner there. Oh, plank. Nice plank. Okay, cool. I'm not going to worry about a, uh, a thing here. Okay. So this is going to be an elite here. Hopefully we could actually maybe kill this. Let's see. I don't know. Our explosion damage has scaled quite high. We can just get some explosions here. Boom. There's one. Boom. There's another. Boom, there's another. See, and this build's actually good at killing the people. Boom, 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 around the boss, too. Boom, boom. Or, oh, dude, we're going to kill him, I think. There is an achievement for killing the uh, an elite or a boss within 15 seconds. We're obviously not going to get that, but we're actually going to be able to do it here. I think this is uh, giving us some uh, some good, good signs here, hopefully. Nice. We killed the elite. We freaking killed the elite already. This has given us some good, this is promising character for endless mode. That's for sure. I mean, just these explosions. The fact that I've increased their range twice still. This is really good. This is insane. Uh, cake, I'll take 10 engineering, 10 XP gain. Oh my gosh, minus three max HP. That's fine. That's fine. I will take it. We have a million medals here. Um, yo, we found some planks, everybody. We found some planks. Yeah, so we have three planks and three pruners. Dude, oh yeah, because the more explosions you have, the more explosion size you have, which is uh, pretty good. I did forget planks do a little bit of elemental damage, but we're not in the negatives there, so. Oh, and they do some damage based on uh, engineering as well. Forgot about that. So. It's a good thing that we buffed up the uh, engineering as well with some of the things here. Dude, this build is crazy. This character is absolutely crazy. Oh my gosh! And having the 60% dodge chance as well. So nice as well here. All those mines are doing a lot as well. I, I Dude, I hope we can survive pretty long in the endless mode.
Dude, I think Cyberball is helping out like a tremendous amount as well. Obviously, I mean, it's done like over like 49% or something. Holy cow. A extra HP. Uh, yep, recovered from consumables. We'll take that. A uh, little less dodge, but we were already over max. Nine more max HP. Um, let's go and get... Uh, let's get more armor. A little bit overkill, but that's fine. Um, we'll go ahead and combine those planks. Get a new plank. Um, yeah, Alien Eyes is absolutely insane. Um, mm, mm, oh, no, it's big. Oh, yeah, Baby Elephant. Yeah, we'll take Baby Elephant. Things are getting quite expensive here. Is it possible? No, 60% is the max. If you see, that's why it says right here, it says 61 out of 100. Um, so we have a 61% chance, but it maxes out at 60. I think there's a character that it maxes out at 70 or 80 or something like that. Is getting turrets bad in any way? Um, I mean, we have good engineering um, right now. It's just not what we're focusing on, you know. But turrets are pretty cool. I think we're, we're obviously going to win this here. If we can actually kill the... Uh, I think it said that there are legendary um, chests now. If you can kill the... Uh, if you can kill the boss. Um, so if we kill both bosses, we will be getting two legendary chests to go into endless mode. Very curious to see what endless mode looks like here. Just got to make sure we're getting, uh, you know... The explosions around these guys. Dodge chance here helping out a lot. I don't know. We may not be able to kill him. We're obviously going to win. But I don't... Oh, we're getting close here. No, I don't think we're going to be able to kill the bosses. So no legendary chests for us, unfortunately. But we officially beat Danger 5 with this character. Um, I'm going to recycle that. 20 luck, less HP regeneration, sure. So now we're on wave 21. So this is the endless mode that we're messing around with here. So we'll get some landmines. Uh, we'll take a metal. Um, oh, that's a good plank right there. Um, yeah, we'll take metal detector there. Though, at a certain point, we're obviously going to max out on the... Um, on what's it called? The uh, the weapons. So I'm very interested to see what these waves beyond wave 20 look like now. And it didn't unlock a new item when we beat wave 20 with this character, but I'm thinking it may when we lose, you know? Beat Crucible 12? We did indeed. There will be a 11 hour video on YouTube tomorrow. Uh, if you guys are watching this video on YouTube, the video is already out. But yeah, there is the longest peglin, the longest video on my channel ever made. Will be uh, will be out uh, tomorrow, and this is endless mode. Yeah, from the brand new update, we're playing as a new character, using new weapons and items, and being on uh, yeah, the endless mode. I hope it scales things actually pretty hard, cause I hate when games the the enemies don't scale really hard and then like it just it feels like an endurance match you know okay so we're now actually at 59 percent dodge versus the 60 um 12 percent damage so we could take yeah we'll take this plank recycle that get that so we have three red planks more trees spawn um mm, okay so there's going to be an elite here. Okay, so it's spawning two elites now. So that's interesting. This, but like this this build this build buffs the crap or this build is this build this character is just insane for endless mode. Because of the permanently scaling explosion damage here. I think we're going to be able to get both of these chests here. 
The legendary chests. Oh my gosh. There. Oh. No, never mind. I don't think that dropped a legendary. Yeah, those are just dropping normal chests. Huh. So after wave 20, elites only drop normal chests, I guess. Makes sense. Makes sense. We kept getting a bunch of legendaries. Uh, the revolver. Yeah, we saw the revolver. We didn't take it, but the revolver is in this game. Yeah. Um, 20. Oh, yeah. More luck. More luck. Um, more harvesting. Oh, that's a new item. 25% damages against bosses and elites. Okay. Well, I don't, I want three prune, pruners and three planks. I don't really uh, feel the need to do anything else. We get another reroll here though. Free reroll because things are going to get pretty expensive. Talking about scaling, keep an eye on our harvesting. Yeah, our harvesting is permanently scaling. So um, I'm assuming it's going to get harder and harder to actually level up obviously, but our scaling is going to be pretty crazy here. This is a very good character for endless mode. Dude, this is insane. This is insane. Yeah, the, the plank pruner build worked exactly the way I wanted it to here. Oh, this is so good. We're still scaling. One engineering for every one elemental damage we have. Okay, I will take that though and just focus on it a little bit more now. Elemental damage, there we go. Buffs it up. Pruner, level that up. Oh, it doesn't look neat anymore. It does, we had all our pruners at the top and all our planks at the bottom. Um, okay, little muscly dude. Four crit chance. Okay, we probably want the... Nah, see, I don't know. I guess going engineering is not the worst thing anymore, anymore, but... Um, more luck is huge. And I'll just take the one engineering. More luck is huge. Rip symmetry. Exactly, I know. Oh my god! Excuse me. Okay, well. What the f What the f Why are they doing this much damage? <laughs> okay, okay. This game don't mess around on the scaling, which is exactly what I wanted. I hated when endless modes, like, you have to spend, like, 20 billion hours to get on the leaderboard. But holy cow. Holy cow, they do a lot of damage right now. Even with my billion armor here. Oh, my gosh. Okay, bombs. 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 I got the bomb fruit. Bomb fruit. Bomb fruit. Okay, we got bomb. We got one of the elites. Okay, we recovered. I think it was because we started at half HP, obviously. Woo! Let's go. Kill both of the elites here. Eventually, like, all the enemies are going to be elites, probably. Like, you get to, like, wave 80, 90. All the, all the enemies are just, uh... Elites. Update came out yesterday. It came out, like, yesterday or the day before. Ooh, rip and tear. That's huge. Metal detector, another cyberball. Speaking of which, the three cyberballs we had have done 112,000 damage. Oh, there's our item. And we're freaking... Can, I can't sell things, can I? I can't. I want my item here. My item here. We got to save, though. Also, Dave, thanks for following. Appreciate it, appreciate it. But we have to get the, the item referencing us. That's a that's a law here. But I also want mastery and fuel tank here. Um Okay, I'll just take mastery and I'll lock grinds magical leaf. Okay. Should be able to afford it after this. Because obviously permanent Dude, I just realized my item got an indirect buff because of endless mode. Now that there's an endless mode, my item isn't as bad if you get it, like, later on in the game. That's sick. I didn't even realize my item got an indirect buff. My item got buffed! 
It's still not as good as my item in Peglin, but... I just love that I have, like, the same item idea, both in Peglin and in Brotato, referencing the channel. Dude, these explosions are unbelievably ridiculous. I think that Rainbow Leaf is actually a follower emote, so I'm pretty sure anyone can use it if you're following. Oh my gosh, that is ridiculous. Okay, Diploma, more Engineering, more exp Oh, 100%. Um, 9 max HP, grinds, Magical Leaf, and some Landmines. Um, HP regeneration is doubled when you have less than 50%. I don't think I'm going to need that. Oh, garden. That's So there's just spawns a garden. So just like, you know, the pruners are spawning gardens. Definitely want that with this item or with this build here. So we're on wave 26 here. Why is it a leaf? Uh, just because uh, our, our uh, channel is kind of themed around those monstera leaves, right? Our channel points are monstera leaves. Um, if you look at a lot of our channel artwork... You know, Monstera leaves everywhere. Speaking of which, guys, I'm I'm in the I'm in the end process of our merch relaunch. Um, there's still some last minute touches, uh, some new merch I'm trying to get added, but I'm really really excited. Um, our merch relaunch should hopefully happen by this month, and it's gonna be pretty sick. Dude, this explosion scaling stuff is getting absolutely ridiculous. Why did I pick a leaf? Because my, it's my, like, it's an item that I got, that added, uh, oh, why did I pick a leaf? Just because I always wear, like, Hawaiian shirts and, like, tropical clothes a lot of the times. Or at least I did a lot more in the past. And so, you know, bright colored leaves and stuff. But yeah, hopefully by the end of this month. So some of the stuff I found out actually is uh, is going to be around the same price. But um, the stuff is uh, seeming to be like infinitely higher quality. There's so much more options, so much more merch, a um, bunch of fun stuff. And some of it is cheaper too, but um, I'm talking with him right now about all that too. Okay, so we got a garden. Oh, explosive turret. Spawn a turret that shoots explosive bullets. Things are starting to get absolutely expensive here. How do you get this character? This is one of the new characters, and I believe it was the one where we had to, um, you have to pick up, oh gosh, you had to pick up, uh, 20 consumables in one run. Oh my gosh, this is a lot of damage here. They were, they were doing a lot of damage. We may die here. We may die, y'all. Game, game ain't messing around. <laughs> Oh, dude, that's fine though. That's fine. We made it to wave 27. I'm very happy that this game gets actually hard. There's so many games that have endless modes that are way, way too easy. And so I'm totally okay with this here. So because we beat Danger 5 or we beat a game with Gluttony, I'm glad we got our item too. But uh, we unlock Spicy Sauce. Um... Plus three max HP. Consumables have a... Oh my gosh! Tw consumables have a 25% chance to explode for 360, which is 50% of our damage. Yeah, there's a whole new kind of like gameplay style around consumables. That's a cool item. That's a cool item. So yeah, I think this was a successful uh, a successful Brotato video. We checked out the new update, right? We already unlocked two of the new characters, Glutton and Lich, and we already beat Danger 5 with Glutton. Uh, next time, I guess we'll try out Lich here. Um, next time we play. Uh, and we got to actually see, uh, you know, the, uh, the, uh, the endless mode. So next time we play, we're definitely going to be messing around with Lich. And then we still have, I think someone said it was the Cyborg character for doing this achievement. And then there's some other character... If you can kill a boss or an elite in less than 15 seconds. So uh, some really, really cool, awesome stuff. Loving this Brotato update and stuff like that. Um, so you can bet your butt we're going to keep playing uh, more Brotato here in the future. Next time we'll be messing around with the Lich. Uh, so hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you're watching after the fact on YouTube, you know, make sure you guys subscribe or ring that bell like all the big boy YouTubers say to be notified when more Brotato videos come out. If there are some, they'll be on the screen right next to me. And if you guys are going to be grinding out some 
some brotato on your own. Then I wish you guys luck and see you all next time.